Okay, Noel from Rittenhouse again. Roller pumps, another subject. Reversing them and why? You have to reverse a roller pump to use on a gas driven engine because PTO shafts run clockwise, gas engines run counterclockwise. So to make it work, you have to reverse it. So as in the earlier, earlier video, we do the same thing. We take it apart, except we don't have to change the seals or anything like that. Uh, yeah. So when you get your pump, by the way, it comes with uh, the parts breakdown manual. In there, you're going to find instructions on reversing your pump. Now this shows three different pump setups with the impellas. It tells you which one and what number of pump has to, you may have to change the impella itself or you may not. You may just have to switch it around. All depends on the pump that you buy. Check the instructions and follow them and you will not have a problem once you put it back together. Okay, now we're going to split this one again. Now that we've got it split, one thing we want to do is we don't want to damage this O-ring when we take off the, uh, the shaft. So we'll pull the O-ring out. And now we're going to put this in the vise, beat the back off. And then we'll continue from there. Okay, we've stuck it in the vise, knocked it apart. Now we're going to reverse it. We don't need, we've looked at our instructions. We know what we've got to do now. We'll put them aside. Okay, like before, we've got to take off this plastic piece. And the reason I'm saying like before, because there is another video up of roller pumps on how to repair them. But anyway, we knock off the plastic piece so that the shaft can come through. Now, remember earlier in the video, this was sitting like this. That's for the standard clockwise rotation. Now what we're doing is we're taking the, the longer part of the shaft and we're actually putting it through the back side, like so. Take a piece of tubing that fits, drive it back down. Make sure the impeller is fully seated. Now, we're going to leave this as our, our little stand. We're going to put this, the pump back on top. We're going to replace our O-ring. And put our rollers back in. They happen to get a little dirty, make sure you clean the dirt off before you put them back in. Otherwise, you're going to start tearing the pump up right away. There, our rollers are back in. 
and we're going to re rejoin the two halves. We have to take out this plastic piece. Because we're now going to use it on the opposite side. Okay. So we install this back on top. Use your other collar piece. Drive it down to seat the, the shaft on the bearing. Turn it upside down. We're going to reinstall the bolts now. Now that you have it all tightened up, go ahead and put the uh, dust covers back on. Now your pump's reversed, ready to use with a gas engine. Note, you can tell when a pump's reversed by seeing the four bolts and the shaft coming out. If this was standard way that the uh, roller pumps come, you would not be looking at the four bolts. Now there is a, a few things that you should know. Once you're finished with the unit, you should rinse it out um, and then run some antifreeze through it. A 50-50 mix that has a rust inhibitor in it. Helps keep the inside clean and protects the rollers from getting stuck. You leave it sit over the winter, I would suggest that you take, squirt some oil inside, spin it around, let the oil lubricate the pump. That way it'll keep it from rusting and you won't have a problem next year when you go to use it. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If there's any questions, you can always call us at Rittenhouse. We'd be glad to talk to you on the phone.